In today's video, we are going into the great state of Utah. We are going to visit Zion National Park in the winter, no less. We are even gonna hike to the top of Angel's Landing. All that and more coming up next. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Uh, good morning. It rained last night. And this is not water, that's ice. <laughs> well, yeah, this Florida man not used to frozen water unless it is inside a freezer. Well, let's hit the road. Head north. Oh, check it out. Three minis. Well, we're going to Zion National Park. Weather permitting. Apparently it was snowing last night at Zion. It is going to be a winter wonderland as we are here in mid-February. We're gonna cross briefly into Arizona before entering Utah. Such a striking landscape here as we traverse the Virgin River Gorge. The colorful sign to the right indicates that we are now in Utah. I'm going to stop here by the visitor center real quick to get a map and some information about Zion in wintertime. And the visitor center is located right here inside the World Wildlife Museum in St. George. I just stopped here at the visitor center. Very nice as they usually are. And uh, she told me that Zion is beautiful when it snows. So. There you go, looking forward to that one. Here we are in Springdale, Utah, the gateway to Zion National Park. Originally settled as a Mormon farming community in 1862. In 2008, it was named one of the United States' 20th prettiest towns by Forbes Traveler. And it is certainly picturesque, with Zion's striking formations in the background. Hi, let's go. Hi good morning. All right, where are you headed today? Uh, I was hoping to go to Watchman's. You want to get a campsite? Yeah. Okay, there's plenty there. When you're done camping here, which way are you headed? Yeah, they ask you all kinds of questions because if you're planning to live through the east entrance, they even have to measure your rig to make sure it fits through the tunnel. Let's go into the campground. One of the perks of coming in the dead of winter is that you can have the park almost to yourself including the campground, which at this time of the year is first come, first served. Well, greetings from Zion National Park. I chose uh, Site 15 here at the campground, uh, the Watchman campground. It's, uh, the ground is a little muddy, but uh, when all this uh, snow uh, finishes melting, it might dry up. You know, it snowed last night. It rained where I was, which means that it snowed here. And it's gonna get, you know, very cold tonight in the teens. But hopefully we'll be okay. I'll have that furnace all the way <laughs> max. Oh, and by the way, we do have electric here, which, which is good. Let's go explore.
I'm gonna stop real quick by the visitor center to get a map and some information about the trails. Well, here's the visitor center. Very helpful staff, as they usually are. Apparently, I am supposed to buy some traction devices for my shoes due to the icy conditions in some of the trails, but they don't have my size. This is the Zion Canyon Scenic Drive, also called the Floor of the Valley Road. During the summer months, when the park is at its busiest, you are not allowed to drive on this road. Instead, you have to park at the visitor center or even further at Springdale and take a shuttle into the park. If we were to continue on this road, we would take the tunnel and eventually exit the park towards Bryce Canyon. But instead, we are going to make a left and continue driving here on Zion Canyon. Let me tell you, I am really glad we are visiting this time of the year because we wouldn't be able to enjoy these great views the same way from the confinement of a crowded shuttle bus. This area is called Court of the Patriarchs. Let's do a trail. Well, at least part of it. Oh well, let's see how far we can go. This is the Virgin River, which carved this valley over the course of many, many years. And yeah, some of the negatives about coming this time of the year are the icy conditions and some of the trails actually being partially or totally closed. But I think it was worth it to be able to see this marvelous place without the crowds of the peak season. I wonder if you're cold, little bird. We're gonna try and do at least part of the Emerald Pools Trail. I don't know how far I'm gonna get because I haven't been able to buy the proper traction devices, you know, the, the shoe spikes. And it is getting pretty slippery. Such amazing rock formations. Tomorrow the plan is to hike Angel's Landing, which is a very similar rock, just a little further down the canyon. In some parts, it's actually easier to walk on the softer snow off the side of the trail. Whoa, slippery. Ooh, waterfalls. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be able to go any further without the spikes, so I'm just gonna enjoy the view from here and start heading back. Well, that is the one negative about coming in the winter time, is that some of the trails are closed. I mean, with good reason. It was very slippery back there. And, uh, and I forgot to bring, you know, I bought a, a hiking stick and some not the traction device proper, they didn't have my size, but I put some, some things that grab onto the, to the ground, just in case I cannot find the traction device. But this is beautiful, it's a winter wonderland here. Ooh, uh, check that out. Actually, I could have gone a little further had I come properly equipped. Talk about being unprepared, I didn't even bring my gloves. Well, yeah, the camera can't really cap capture the, the grandeur, you know, 
this pinnacles. As soon as I get back, I'm gonna go into town and get the traction devices because they are obviously going to be essential. This short hike has been basically a rehearsal for tomorrow. Everywhere you look. Yeah, every once in a while you just have to pause to appreciate this incredible place. Let's drive all the way till the end of the road. Here coming up is the Zion Lodge, the only hotel and restaurant inside the park. I'm not really gonna stop anywhere or do any hikes until I come prepared. As I said, I wanna do Angel's Landing tomorrow. Right now, let's just do this scenic drive. A little more icy here as we reach the northern end of the park. We've reached the end of the road and here's the trailhead for the Narrows, which is a hike in which you have to go wading in a shallow river. But obviously I would need special pants and boots, etc. So perhaps if I come back in the summer, I'll do it. Let's head back. Here we might be able to kill uh, two birds with one stone. We've got the Zion Outfitters and we've got a group of them. So let me see if they have like those shoe tracking, no, tracking devices, no traction devices, so I can do the hike and then we'll have lunch. Let's go to the Zion Outfitter first. Apparently they have all kinds of stuff, anything you might need to do the different hikes in the park. Yeah, they have all kinds of stuff in there, like if you want to do the narrows, they have all the insulating stuff, you know, even now in the winter. Anyways, we got this, they're supposed to be the better ones, which since I'm a beginner, I need all the help I can get, so... Let's go have lunch. I'm starving. And, hmm, uh, daily special. Three meat trio burger. Hmm, sounds delicious. Zion Brewery handcrafted ales, and here's one of them. It's called the Echo Canyon IPA. Free popcorn. And yeah, that's what I needed. Well, hamburger was delicious. They're a little understaffed, but other than that, just good. Now let's explore the park a little bit. We have about two hours of sunshine left here. Well, I'm anxious to try my new traction devices. So we're gonna do the Canyon Overlook Trail. It takes about an hour and it is about a mile round trip. And to get to it, we have to take the tunnel. So we're gonna go into the freshly plowed switchbacks. Sounds like fun. I would really be afraid to take this road with Minitini the trailer in tow. So even though we fit through the tunnel, I think I am going to exit the park through the south entrance the day after tomorrow when we leave. Hmm, there's a big drop. Ooh, fish tailed a little back there. Anyways, here comes the tunnel.
The tunnel has a few openings from where you can see the view, but it is hard for the camera to capture it. Darn it, I missed the parking lot. Now I'm gonna have to turn around somewhere. This seems like a good spot to make a U-turn. Here we are. Well, yeah, it's cold. Let's go for a little hike here. Canyon Overlook Trail. One mile round trip. Oh, these things I bought for my shoes. Amazing. There's a tunnel down there. It's a long way down there. Icy conditions up here. I'm glad I. I'm really glad I bought these things. Amazing, amazing landscape everywhere you look. Yeah, as I see the people struggling with the with the slippery ice. Best investment. Best investment I've made. These high traction adapters for my shoes. Should be. Getting close, I think. Sunset is in about half an hour. I think this is it, the Canyon Overlook. And those, those are all the switchbacks we took to get here. Such a beautiful place. Well, this is the end of the trail. Yeah, let's head back. Amazing view. Let's um, let's head back before it gets dark. Oh, Okay, that didn't come out too good. I wanted to put an RV vlog, but that didn't work out all that well. Let's go all the way up here and then down we go. Oh. Oh. 
Ooh, I'm getting hot. <laughs> that's an even better. That's an even better view, but there's no rails, so keep in mind. Let's go. I think these people are gonna wait for the sunset, but I am not. I'm afraid to drive on that uh, road in the dark. amazing. Yeah, I remember this cavern here. So we're getting close. Conquered the canyon lookout trail, as it called. Although, of course, this was only training for the real test, which is going to be tomorrow. Well, good night. Good morning. Well, it is a little uncomfortably cold out there. It's 30 degrees. Last night it went down to the low 20s. It's starting to warm up. The car says it's 30 degrees. Where I'm going is probably lower because today I'm gonna try to do that great um, hike here, Angel's Landing. I've got plenty of water, I've got some peanuts for, from, for when I feel hungry. I've got my gloves, my hat, all my cameras. Wow, oh, that's beautiful. There, we can see it, angels landing already in the distance. Yes, that mountain in the middle, that's what we're climbing. Let's park here. I'm not used to wearing gloves and I'm totally useless with them. <laughs> Anyways, it's somewhat comforting to know that I am not the only crazy person attempting to do this uh, today here. The parking lot is almost full. Let's see, Let, let's see which way is the trail. Look at that mountain, it's amazing. Here at the grotto, three trails actually branch out from here. The West Rim, the Cayenta, and Angel's Landing. West Rim Trail, Angel's Landing, two and a half miles that way. I forget to look back, you know, and sometimes the better, the better view is behind you. Well, I think we can agree today the better view is all around us. 
I'm sure the camera doesn't do it justice, but... Will I be able to climb all the way to the top? Yeah, that stick was getting on my nerves, so I put it down here. Now it's getting a little less on my nerves, but I might hit it once I hit, you know, the snow. I'm about to hit this part of the trail called the switchbacks, and it is supposed to be really icy, so it is time for some spikes. Now we've got the traction. Actually, I might have to take him off. Don't really need him yet. It is much warmer now that we're getting some sunlight. In fact, I am almost uh, breaking a sweat. Yeah, it's been up and up and up for a while, and I, I'm starting to feel it. Very nice view here as we start to gain uh, some more serious elevation. I guess eventually we'll make it all the way up there. Or up there, rather. Woo! It's getting better all the time. Look at that. I just asked uh, these guys and they say that it's, uh, it's, it's gonna be fine like this for a couple of, I don't know how long, until we reach the switchbacks at the top. And then I'm gonna need this again. I took them off because it's kind of uncomfortable. What a view, huh? <laughs> you see, where, wherever there's shadow, there's ice. So on the other side of the mountain, which, which is the, the icy side, that's where we're gonna encounter the extreme ice. As you all know, I'm from Florida, so I don't know anything about snow or ice or winter. Are you afraid of heights? And you ain't seen nothing yet. It is truly an amazing hike. We've gone from really cold to almost, almost balmy right now. Uh, my head was starting to sweat. Put this back on. Yeah, it's starting to get really cold again. It's gonna be so pretty on the way down. Hmm, I guess this is what they used to plow the trail. <laughs> Tend a little flower. If you do this hike, don't forget to look up. Don't forget to look back. It's a winter wonderland. Climbing up. It's really wonderful. <laughs> anyway, I've seen a few people struggling quite a bit with regular shoes, so if I didn't mention it before, I'm really glad I got these uh, spiky things. Well, at least I'm not the only one on the trail. Got a little bit to go. It's a long way up. I was starting to sweat in my head, so I took my hat off. I think we're almost there. West Rim Springs. That's three miles, Angel's Landing, half a mile. That's where we want to go, Angel's Landing.
the lady at the visitor center said that the last half mile wasn't recommended during wintry conditions and uh, I guess this qualifies. But still, to come all the way here and not go all the way to the top. I'm still on this side at this point. Okay, tell you what, doing Angel's Landing the rest of the way would have been really cool, but I want to go back to Florida alive. I see some people doing it. Well, one of the guys going up said that it was pretty sketchy, so he's a young person. I don't want to check out the view from this side. Oh, to come all the way here and not going the rest of the way, it's almost like Neil Armstrong landing on the moon and not getting off the lamb. I'm gonna give it a try, maybe a couple of feet. See, if, if I feel too uncomfortable, I'll return. If I feel comfortable, I might keep going, I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. Here's the beginning of the chains. Peer pressure, totally a thing. I guess seeing people, some even older than me, go and more importantly return from the hike kind of gives me a little bit of reassurance. A young fella described it as sketchy. Little did I know that sketchy is hiker talk for really dangerous. But tell you what, nothing has ever been written about cowards. And something tells me I'm going to come out of this one unscathed. I mean, if you're listening to this, I probably did, right? Even though it is the most extreme hike I've ever done. The thing with this section of the trail is that you are walking on this narrow path, with 1,000 foot drops at least on one side, and all you have to prevent you from falling to your certain death are these chains. Not the trail for you if you are afraid of heights. And I am, but just a little bit. some of the crazier parts, you have 1,000 foot drops on both sides. Once in a while, you just gotta stop and look back. But then the climb continues. Yep, big drops on both sides. It is certainly a unique experience in any season, but the snow really takes it to the next level. Here comes one of the hardest and perilous parts. We are about to go almost vertical. point, exhaustion from the strenuous hike and the high altitude is starting to set in. But there's no turning back now. We're almost there. And oh, what a view. This is certainly one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my life, by choice. Seldom times do you feel as alive as when your life is literally in your own hands. And this is certainly one of those moments. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. I need a break, really bad. Just a little more, just a little longer. Here, here, I'm going to take a break. Drink a whole bottle of water. Whew. This is one of those that the camera won't be able to capture. The, the really the, the grandeur of this view. We're really up high here. Most strenuous hike I've ever done, but totally worth it. I mean, the road is way down there. Almost there. Yeah, we're on the home stretch. Yes, mission accomplished. We've made it to the top. From here, it is just a short walk to the Vista Point, where we're gonna have 1500 foot drops on almost all sides. It is a tremendous feeling of accomplishment. The way down will be equally as sketchy, but I'm not thinking about that now. Still panting a little bit here from the high altitude, but we're all good. It is amazing. I almost can't believe my eyes. Yeah, you too. Okay, everybody, this has been either the bravest or the stupidest thing I've ever done, climbing here all the way up to Angel's Landing. But I do believe the view is worth it. Let me give you a quick 360 here. And the view down there is even more amazing. I mean, it's yeah, from up here, from up here, you can basically see almost the whole. Yes. The whole park. And my battery on this little camera is running out, so uh, I'm gonna use the other one on the way on the way down. It's quite amazing. This guy is taking hundreds of pictures, apparently to stitch them together and get like some kind of gigapixel shot. That's gonna be cool. Three sixty view here from the top. Too bad the camera never quite captures it the way your eyes do. I'm telling you. Yeah, he stopped for a minute so I could stand here at the end and take this beautiful shot.
wait. Yeah, this is one of those places that makes me wish I had like a like a stereoscopic uh, VR rig, you know, something virtual reality, so you could actually experience the the depth. Oh wow, I think that's where I'm parked. In the dark, I'd say, wouldn't you? Yeah. Did you see where they put Cairns down there, Lil? Yeah. I hope they had a rope. Well, little Sony uh, battery died, so this is all I've got now. <laughs> the only thing is, this camera, I'm not gonna be able to use it when I'm on the ropes because. The ropes require both hands. Okay, one last view here at the end of the trail. And that's another, you know, drop right there. And there's a huge drop here, so... Yeah, this is, I have to go down through here. I really wish I had the head-mounted camera for the trek down because it is really a lot scarier, at least in person. I'll film as much as I can with this one. We have conquered Dendro's Landing. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of glad the, the other camera crapped out in the middle. Because I'm not sure I want my mom to see that, <laughs> that footage. <laughs> well, now we go down. Yeah, the ice is melting. Yeah, this wasn't as melty. When I came this morning, oh, look at that. The rest of the way down should be pretty easy in comparison. Maybe I should walk fast through this area. But look at that. Did you see that? By the way, what I just did, Angel's Landing in the winter, is not recommended. So this falls into that category of do as I say and not what I do. Do not try this at home. wasn't here this morning. A little cascade. That's where we were. Hmm, had I read this before, maybe I wouldn't have done it, huh? Oops. <laughs> oh well. Well, that was incredible. Very glad that I did it. And that I didn't stop at the, at the scout uh, point or whatever it's called. 
and uh, actually decide to do the more dangerous um, climb all the way to the top. I mean, if I had, if I had been by myself, I wouldn't have done it. But I saw so many people coming back, <laughs> mainly. So I said, you know, might as well. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the the way down, which was probably more dramatic than the way up. But. Uh, battery died on this little camera here fourth battery died you know and it went through four batteries I'm gonna go back and celebrate with an IPA probably and I think that that's all I'm going to do in Zion today and with this sunset coming up well that already happened we're saying goodbye to Zion National Park. Wasn't this the most awesome campsite? Oh, I forgot to, to remove the GoPro last night. Oh, I'm tired, as you can imagine. Oh, I'm gonna go to sleep early today, so... Good night.